Hey you guys and welcome back. We are going to do a simple Adobe Animate animation here. Um, so first we're going to start with this tool right here and we're going to get an oval. The oval tool. We're going to hit shift to drag to make that perfect circular shape and then we're going to let go of the mouse first and then let go of the key so that it doesn't stop it from being a perfect circle when you if you let go of the key first and then let go of the mouse so so now we have this red circle but really I want it to be white with in the middle with a black stroke so the fill will be white so we'll click choose that and then the stroke will be black and here's the stroke size I'm going to make it a little thicker so we're gonna make it at three okay and so now I want the body here so we're going to make another simple body we're going to use the oval tool but we're not going to hit shift this time I'll show you what it looks like so now it is here is the body here and we're going to click this here hit the right click button and then arrange we want to bring this to the front okay so now I want a circle a simple circle for the eyes so let's see and oh interesting right <laughs> you can pull it but let's edit undo that it, it reshaped it so let's make sure it's clicked I'm gonna move it out here uh, I want the fill to be black and I don't want a stroke so I'm gonna hit this white here so there's no stroke so it looks like that and then I want to double it something because I want it to be the same exact size so I'm gonna hit control C and then control F oh this is different for this one control V sorry now you have two eyes of the same size so now you have two eyes of the same size, so you click and we're going to make this straight here. <laughs> okay, and so now we're just going to make a simple mouth. So we're going to make this oval as well, but we don't want the mouth open. Okay, so we have this circle, so now we're just going to make it, we're going to use the sub selection tool and make it closed more so. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> but it's a little bit, it's too big, so let's make this smaller. So you go to selection tool, make sure, um, you go, then you go to object, position, and size, and make sure it's locked so you can keep the same um, width and height value so that they can be even and it doesn't go out of shape. So here's a mouth. And let's make it really quickly. Let's do some cheeks. Oops. So we're going to use the fluid brush for this. And I'm going to make it small. Let's see, that's a, I think, a little bit bigger than that. How about that? Okay. Let me erase it. So the fluid brush tool and we're gonna make it a pink 
and then right on the outside of the cheeks there we are and so the mouth is black right now let's make the mouth red or like a Mm, like that and let's give it a stroke if we can so let's make the legs and the arms so I gave him some hair um oop. <laughs> A random piece of hair in the back of his head this is what the full hair looks like let me see if I can grab it oh, that's the whole head in fact this piece we're going to delete that and then that over okay Here's my simple character. Uh, I want the background to look like something different. So let's do that. So I'm using the pen tool. And then I'm gonna meet back up at the end. I'm gonna get my paint bucket and we're gonna make a blue sky. And fill that in. Okay, so now we're going to add some depth to this sky, and we're going to do that by clicking it, and then we're going to copy, and then we're going to paste like that. So, right now, we see the shape button is on break apart. So we do not want that. Okay, so we want it on create object. It's on 54% and then as you can see it does show the different um, colors here. So if we were to take off what's outside of the stage, then you can see that there is the sky. Now we're going to make a house. And we're going to use the polystar tool. Okay, so it's going to look like this with the polygon, polystar tool. And here, remove it here. And then we can drag this bottom half. So I'll go into sub selection. And drag this down like that and then I want to use this line tool let's add it undo so about right there and then from there down here I'm going to make a chimney, that way you know it's a house. And I'm going to get the rectangles tool and just make a different color. Okay, so now we are going to add some a timeline. So, this person needs to be grouped together so you can either hit control G or you can go up to modify group and so here oh, it's grouping everything it's not you So what I want to do is I want this person to steadily go smaller and smaller and smaller until he gets into the door. 
and then poke his head out from the window. So that's my goal. Thank you guys for viewing this video. Here is my animation of someone moving into their new house. And please subscribe. Bye!